Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Elden Ring. Brand new session today, and after having defeated Radon yesterday uh, in a very anticlimactic battle, I actually did an entire podcast dedicated to how disappointing that was and that FromSoft should not have patched that the way that they did. We have a new border today for the webcam. Let me know what you think. Give me some feedback. It's an animated border, although you might not be able to notice because the animation is very, very tiny and distinct around the edges, but it's pretty nice for this playthrough, Elden Ring border. Because the game's going to be so damn long. You say, oh, 60 hours in, you're just adding a new border. Dude, this border is going to get like another 40 to 60 hours of use. It really is. So anyway, welcome back to Elden Ring, everyone. We are in a dungeon to the northeast of the fight of Radon. Okay? And what I'd like to do is I would like to actually go back... for now, to the Table of Lost Grace. Why? Because at the very tail end of yesterday's stream, right before I was going to fight Radon, I actually got one of the crafting items I need to upgrade this sword to another level, and I was like, ah, oh, shit, of course, you're stuck in the Radon boss fight, so I couldn't actually upgrade it at that time, but now I should be able to get this up another level. If you haven't noticed, I really have enjoyed all... Oh, okay. I really have enjoyed alternating. I thought she was gone. I really have enjoyed alternating between... Was that sword always there? I really enjoyed alternating between this Magma Worm Sword as well as the, uh, the Golden Halberd. Both of them, I feel, are great weapons. Wait, what? Did I already do it? I guess I already did it. I don't even remember doing it, but I guess I did it at the end of yesterday's stream. Yeah, I must have. Never mind. I didn't even need to be here. Oops. Alright. So, what are we doing today? Well, now that Radon is dead very sadly, I hate to say. Um, we're going to do some stuff. We're going to do this optional War Dead Catacombs dungeon. From what I'm going to understand, if I now fast travel back to Red Main Castle, the entire castle is now a new dungeon full of enemies and bosses and all kinds of stuff, which sounds pretty interesting. Of course, <clears throat> we did not finish exploration of Kaled. We still have to finish all this area. Remember, I died over here. Um... In the Kaelin Ruins, and I didn't even see... I guess there's probably a dungeon there that I missed. Over here, there's a dungeon for resources that I still haven't figured out how to get to. And some people have actually been telling me that there is a way... That there's some optional dragon boss somewhere in Kaelin that I never stumbled upon at this point. In addition, people are screaming at me. They're saying, hey, you gotta go back to the Mistwood, Misty Wood Forest or Mistwood... Because apparently now something has changed here since you beat Radon. Okay, I don't know what, but I guess we could give it a look. So, we have a lot of things to do today. I'll definitely tell you the first thing we're doing is the dungeon that I was just about to start. It's called the War Dead Catacombs. Let's do that first, and then maybe we'll do some, some interaction. I'll ask the, ask the viewing audience what they want to do. Since there's so many options today of things to do, it kind of makes sense to, to figure it out. So, <clears throat> all right. A little bit of interaction with what people want. Let's see what we got. I'll find the dragon. Big Cheese is under the impression I'm just going to find the, the fuck? What the hell's going on in here? Ha ha ha. Uh. Hi. It's like a battle royale. Visions of death and try, try a brief respite. What is going on? Visions of tears? What is this? This is weird shit. Oh, what? I couldn't see. This stupid fucking thing. Yeah, that's bullshit. How is that my fault that the camera rotated around the fucking corner, right? The camera rotated around the corner. I couldn't see anything. And then he just gets a cheap impalement. Like, okay, that's fair. Whatever. Well, fuck, I'm just gonna run by him then. Fuck this. Oh, 
Scarlet Rock. Collapsing Star Spell. Flame cleanse me! And it did. It worked. Bird up. What the fuck? Bird up? going on in here? <laughs> what? Well, I guess, uh... I guess we do have to go up those stairs to try to find a way to open the door. Oh, really? It's Radon and Mil Millennia's troops are still fighting in the tomb after all these years. It's an endless battle. Well, that's sad. How the fuck do I get over there? I guess right here. Yep. My ass! Oh no! There's imps in here! How'd I miss? Alright, this is bullshit. The dude's directly in front of me. I slam the ground in front of him. No hit. And then I get ganked from behind. This whole dungeon is fucking stupid shit. Holy shit, man. This is dumb shit. You'll rue the day you fucked with me. Piece of shit. Chilling in here, look. Oh, why are they all doing so much damage to me now? This is insane. Every enemy does, does ridiculous damage to me now. But do you see what I'm saying about the Radon boss fight? Why is the Radon boss fight so easy? Yeah, every enemy in here hits me for 80% damage with one hit. Right? <laughs> oh, that's really scaled well. Nothing in here. Well, they didn't follow me. Got a new Ash summon, you see that?
Aha! A bit chaotic. Did they seriously? They're all gone. Oh, they all disappeared. Okay. All right. I'm probably not going to beat this boss because I have no idea what it is, but we're about to find out, huh? Critical hit. I can't take this. You know what? Again, uh, I got to remember his attack patterns after a million years. I rolled, it still hit me. I rolled perfectly, and the tail still hit me. Stupid. Why the hell, why the hell is it the same boss a third time now? Now I fought him three times, I'm kind of like, I mean, I know exactly what the boss is going to do unless they added new attacks. So that's a good thing. But at the very same time, like, do I really want to fight this fucking boss again? Again. And by the way, I fucking, I did the right thing. I rolled right through his tail. It still hit anyway. That's really stupid. <laughs> okay. Definitely fucking rolled. I rolled. I'm rolling through that, and it's still hitting me. I rolled, dude. <laughs> Every time he does a big sweeping attack, I'm rolling through it, and the game says, Oh, you delayed it. No, I didn't. Your fucking inputs are delayed, you stupid fucking game. I know how to beat this guy. I beat him twice already. It's so dumb. Completely stupid. Like, I know how to beat him. He's pretty easy. Almost all of his attacks... 
are telegraphed for a very long time. All I need is for the roll to come out when I push the button. Nope. So I gotta guess and I gotta press it early because of the fucking stupid input delay. I would go as far to say it's harder for someone like me to play a game like this because after playing um, Street Fighter for so long, having a game where the, all the inputs are actually delayed distinctly is a major pain in the fucking ass. It just is. Like, give me my move when I push the button. And it doesn't. It. It's that stupid. I can't see. I rolled! I absolutely rolled! And it didn't fucking roll! That is complete bullshit. I fucking pressed right and roll, and it doesn't roll. What a piece of shit. What a piece of shit. Haha. <laughs> 100 bullshit. I definitely fucking rolled. But when it takes this long to roll... Literally, I press the button, release the button, wait, and then he rolls. Yeah, there's an issue there. Incredibly fucking stupid. Oh, that's great. I totally pre didn't press jump according to the game. Right. Ugh. Oh, I couldn't see. Are you shitting me? The camera rotated in a way I couldn't see the boss. How the fuck is that my fault? Oh my god. The beginning of the fight, the camera rotates and puts the boss off screen. And then I can't fucking see what's going on. Jesus fucking Christ, dude. <clears throat> uh. It's not cheap. The bite isn't cheap. The bite's easy to dodge if the fucking beam works. If the camera will fucking stay where it's supposed to, if your button rolls come out when you push the button, it's actually not a big deal. But they designed these bosses around actual responsiveness that doesn't exist in the fucking game. Yeah, I rolled that time. Oh my god, I can't believe it. Roll. Oh, I'm actually behind the camera. I was behind the tail, and it spins around and hits me anyway.
Goodbye. Red main knight Olga summon, and I got a golden seed. Maybe every time you beat them, you get a golden seed. Maybe. 65,000 runes for that. Okay. That's a good amount. I told you guys it's easy. <laughs> I told you it's an absolutely easy boss. Once you know the pattern and you actually get your moves coming out, you can beat it easily. Not a big deal. Cool. I didn't even kill a single enemy in this dungeon. Very nice. Golf clap. The first boss win with the new overlay. What do you think? <laughs> All right. Todd says, nice victory. I'm a longtime fan and joined the playthrough. Thank you, Todd. Welcome. The first of many today, I hope. Right? The first of many victories. Burnt Zapato did a $5 super chat. Says, try to pick up as many flowers in dungeons they're used to level your spirit ashes if you ever decide to use them. I... <laughs> I don't know if I ever will, quite frankly. So I can get two levels. Uh, well, you know, Vigor still goes up a lot. I'm still, even for level 28 in Vigor, I'm still jumping 40 each level in Vigor. Although, again, Faith is just going to make me way more powerful over overall. Uh, it's a tough decision, actually. I'm good in Stamina for sure, and I think everything else is fine. It's really either going to be a choice of Faith or Vigor. Uh, maybe I'll do one of each. You know, I think I will do one of each. That's what we'll do. Okay. Uh, let's see. Oh, by the way, so I gotta get uh, Burnt Zapato up on the leaderboard here. Thank you for that super chat. Thank you, Burnt Zapato, for the super chat. All right. Vigor caps at 99. Well, I have a ways to go then. <laughs> I certainly have a ways to fucking go. <clears throat> um, I don't think I can do anything. How many do I need? Four golden seeds. I think I only have one at this point. Okay. I think I'm still okay with eight and three for now. I might go, I might go to nine and two eventually. <clears throat> um, I don't think I have any new spells I really want to learn. Raises physical and fire affinity. Oh, it's a it's a damage buff. Oh, I didn't know I had this. So this is interesting. Blood flame. That's arcane. So I might equip this then. So one of them cures poison and, and, and sacred rot. The other one is... So I could do weapon buff... Strength buff, chug the flask for holy and faith buff, and then I go to a boss fight. So it's a triple buff before I even get to a boss. Okay. I'm not going to complain. I think I might remove this because it sucks. Quite frankly, I'm probably never going to use this either. Well, then again, it's good for an, it's good for a last-minute resort. Bistro Vitality sucks. I'm removing that. I'm trying to basically streamline my loadout here. A lot of people say they like this. Seriously, a lot of people say they like the Flame of Frenzy, but personally, I've been enjoying the Bolt spells. I hope I can get better ones later on. All right, so this is what I'm going to go with. Flame Cleanse Me. Flame Grant Me Strength. Lightning Spear. Hold Bolt. Heal. Okay, in fact, here's what I'm going to do. I want to separate the spells. So spell number one, flame cleanse me. Spell number two, the bolt. Spell number three, strength buff. Spell number four, the secondary lightning bolt. This will separate the two red spells so I don't get them confused. I'll remember the one after the bolt is the strength buff. The one before the bolt is the cleanse spell. Okay. Is there anything else that I'm leaving out that I want? Don't think so. I think we got everything at this point that I'm using. Holy damage negation. Uh, so that just means holy damage won't hurt you as much. That's not very good because how often are you going to fight a holy enemy? All right, I'm going to go with these four. <clears throat> cool. Phil's big twerking ass to me a $1.50 and says, Did you notice that the putrid tree spirits are Erd tree avatars infected with scarlet rot? 
Are they? I mean, they're much larger than Earth Tree avatars. So I don't know if they are or not. I mean, it's an interesting lore theory. The thing is, we already fought an Earth Tree avatar that was infected with Scarlet Rot in front of the, the minor Earth Tree that was in this area. And it looked nothing like that spirit. So I don't know if your theory is correct. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. Um, we have, now we got options, guys. We have options. Would you guys prefer to see me go back to Redmain Castle as it is now supposedly a regular dungeon with bosses and stuff? Would you prefer to see me go back to Mistwood, which apparently now has changed? Um, here it is. Now that that star fell after I beat Radon. Would you prefer if I investigate the areas over here that I didn't finish investigating and died at, such as the Kalim Ruins, and maybe head a little west and try to get to this resource cave? Like, what would you guys like to see me do? Death Claws Unite wants Redmain Castle. Swaggins, I literally just said I that I, you know, Redmain Castle is an option. I literally just said that. Darziak is saying the southwestern portion has a dragon boss. Okay. Now a lot of people are saying try Red Main. Alright. Um should I just start inside? I mean, isn't it kind of cheap to start inside? Like, I'm already in the dungeon. <laughs> By the way, Dan the Man, thank you for a $6.60... 60? I can't speak. A $6.66 tip, which gets us up to $31 total so far. <clears throat> Go back to the other sword for now. I like the Gold Halberd for bosses, and I like the Worm Sword for regular combat. I really enjoy swapping between. Okay. So what happens... Oh. Is there stuff up here now? Is this different now because we beat Radon? I haven't returned here yet. that woman again. Give me a gesture. She just does it again. The bow. Uh, Darkside Chris says, do you have Roderick's Great Rune Equip gives all stats a plus five boost? I did until I died. And I haven't, I haven't used a rune arc yet, but I could. Darkside says, I think you have to talk to the event organizer again and then the changes will happen. Okay. He's up here. Did anything else change since I beat him? There's the, oh, he's not here anymore. Uh, I guess I gotta find where they moved him because he's not here. Maybe he's inside. He's gonna be like, damn, you one-shotted Radon. That wasn't supposed to happen. Oh, uh, there was some kind of a software patch that happened earlier this week. <laughs> champion you have our gratitude the celebration was spectacular general radan is surely pleased festering with rot and crippled by madness all he wanted was an honorable death well he didn't really get it <laughs> speaking of which i was so i was so upset yesterday when i beat him i didn't even look at his uh his item right his remembrance or whatever the fuck it is? Where is it? I don't know where the fuck they are. Is it here? Oh, it is. The remembrance of the Star Scourge. Take the power of its namesake via the Finger Reader. Remembrance of Star Scourge Radon hewn into the Erd Tree. The power of its namesake can be unlocked by the Finger Reader. Alternatively, it can be used to gain a great bounty of runes. The Red Lion General wielded gravitational powers which he learned in Celia during his younger days. So he used to be a, a Celia scholar. That's interesting. Also, he would never like to have to abandon his beloved but scrawny steed. I told you, his fucking, his horse was shoved up his ass. He literally had a gravitational power that made his horse a connect to his crotch permanently. He had a black hole on his balls that sucked his horse onto him.
So, where are the great runes? Oh. I didn't get one. Godric's great rune raises all attributes. The great rune of Unborn is used to prefer re perfect rebirth. When I didn't get a great rune for killing him. That's weird. Huh. I don't understand. Do you not get it? It's further down. It's lower. Oh, it's I have it. Oh, what the fuck? Why is it all the way down there? Radon's great rune devoid of any benedictions. Seek the Divine Tower of Kaylee, which stands upon... I could do this now if I wanted. Yeah, I actually could. All right. Finally, my work is done. Yeah, you could go I'm home. No longer bound to this fortress. <laughs> I have a task in mind. Old business, you could say. You wouldn't understand. May we meet again, if the fates deign it. Brave champion. I wonder if this guy's a boss leader. That'd be kind of cool, actually. It's time I went. May we meet again, if the... All right, uh, is that it? There's nothing else to do. Could this be an old Kaja? I don't know. I don't know what else I'm supposed to do. Do it! Lies for Soul, to me $4.20 is what up dog? What's going on Lies for Soul? Welcome to the stream. So, anyone know how to activate this fucking castle so I don't waste all my time? I'd like to just do it so I can fight it. When you leave and come back, the castle changes now. Okay. So, if you remember, the first time that we were in Kaelid, we got all the way down here. This is where the, the troops were fighting the monsters over there. There's a giant melee battle. And I had saved here, and I was like, dude, there's no way I'm trying to go across that bridge. And I never bothered, and then I teleported last time into the castle. Now let's see what happens. Okay. There's enemies now. Look. Oh, ha, 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 ha. did I literally skip the entire dungeon by coming here first for the festival? I did, didn't I? I skipped the entire thing. This guy's hit his own guy. What the fuck? You got the worst aim possible, you dunce. This is very similar to Stormvale. Where they have all these defenses set up. But if you have an alternate way around, you don't have to ever deal with any of it. Huh. Well, fuck this. I mean, maybe I'll go back eventually to check it out. But there's a boss, right? Alright, I have no idea what this is. Let's find out. That, that is ridiculous. Don't fucking... He's self-aware. He's become self... He's really become self-aware and won't stop doing motion control triggers. Get through that fucking mist. <laughs> Alright, let's see what we got in store here. Uh-oh. Oh, this guy again? He can't move. that I can't I'm stuck in the wall I can't get out of the wall look what he did oh there's another boss there's a crucible knight in here there's a fucking crucible knight oh shit okay now we got serious
could have punished him. Got him. Is that it? That's it. Ha ha ha. Ruins greatsword. Only 21,000 souls for that fight. Even though, well actually no, it's about 15 because I had about 5. Yeah. So. Hmm. Basically, very easy if you separate them, which is exactly what happened. The first guy ran at me, the misbegotten dude ran at me first, actually trapped me in the wall, but was taking so much damage that I was able to kill him quickly and one on one the Crucible Knight. And because I have high damage output, I was able to beat him. So, one shot, master. One shot. Let's see what our new weapon is the Ruins Greatsword. 50 strength, 16 intelligence. Okay. A colossal great sword. Originally rubble from a ruin which fell from the sky. I wonder if that's a hint. This surviving fragment was honed into a weapon. One of the legendary armaments. It's considered a legendary armament. What's funny about this is we've we've been in the sky. We teleported, remember, at one of the four belfries, which by the way, I have the key to do the final of the four belfries. Um yeah, at the four belfries, one of them teleports you into the sky and you see a bunch of floating ruins. So maybe that's what this is supposed to be a piece of. The ruin it came from crumbled when struck by a meteorite. As such, the weapon harbors that destructive power. Um, unique skill, wave of destruction. Raise the sword up high and strike it against the ground to fire off a wave of gravitational force. Neither enemy we just fought has this. Who? What enemy has this weapon? Because most of the weapons are boss weapons, right? Like... Hmm. Swagon says, this is a great strength weapon, top three, and the weapon art does very high damage. Cool. <clears throat> Todd says, what level are you? You must have been doing filling out all the side content and enjoying the game. I did pretty much all the side content to this point, except for all of Kaled, which is what I'm working on right now. But yeah, I uh, I did a lot of shit. Like, all the stuff in, in, in uh, Limgrave, all of Liurnia that I could find, I did it all. So, uh, yeah, if I remember correctly, remember we were teleported there from the, uh, where was it? We were teleported there, was this it? We were teleported to this sky area. Wait a minute. Did you just notice something? The map changed. You noticed that, right? The map has changed. It now goes all the way to the right. It didn't used to do that. It used to actually cut off at the east of Kalid, and now it's in, it's stretched all the way out here. And I wonder why. Huh. Interesting. But anyway, um... Yeah, we were there. We were in this sky area. It's where everything's torn apart and floating. There's giant tornadoes and shit. We were teleported there at the Four Belfries. So. Speaking of which, I might go back to the Four Belfries. I don't know what happened that that's triggered the map grow so much larger, but... Okay. 
We beat it. I mean, holy shit. We just beat two dungeons in, like, not even an hour, right? Because I don't even have to do the dungeon. I skipped the whole fucking thing and got right to the boss. All right, we should level up for sure. Um, uh, By the way, there's nothing else back here, right? Probably not, but I'm going to level up. No, nothing new. It's the same shit. All it was is it added the new boss fight. Oh, look at this. You could go back out to the boss area if you want, I guess. They reopened this area. I don't know if I want to, though. I don't think there's anything out there. Okay, um... <clears throat> you skip the dungeon if you do the Ronnie quest line and you talk with Bla Blade about the festival. If not, you actually have to do it. And I did. I skipped it. So... People want to see the new sword? Oh, Alright. Oh, I can't use it here. I gotta get back to an area where I can use it to show you guys. Okay. So. Giant slammy explosions. Double slammy. If I two-hand it, a raising attack, which launches them, a giant slam jump, right? Special ability. Now, of course, I don't have the stats for it. If I had the stats, apparently what they said is that a big shockwave of magic comes out of the sword, which is probably pretty neat. But, I mean, I could do it. I'm actually close in the intelligence requirement. It's 16. It's the strength that I have to work on. I'm only at... Strength of uh, 40. I need another 10 levels in strength to use this damn thing. Alright. Let's level up again. Oh, I can't. I don't have enough. So, damn. Wherever I go, I've got 21,000 runes at stake. Which kind of sucks. I'm not going to lie. I don't want to lose those. Okay, well, let's recharge and figure out what I want to do next. You can buy Radon's armor. It's good for its weight, says Martin. Oh, yeah? How do you do that? If I get 16 intelligence, I can dual hand that sword with 40 strength. I would only need 7 more intelligence. Yeah, what do you got? What, what are you talking about buying this armor? Where would I buy it? Ah, oh, my nose itches now. Ah. Talk to the finger lady at the round table. Oh, and that's true. I actually want to see with Radon's, uh, with Radon's, uh, boss soul remembrance, whatever the fuck you want to call it. I also want to see, uh, what you get. Hitter. Retrieve equipment of champions. Oh, interesting. I could also have bought Renala's set, which I didn't know. The Queen's robe. Radon's helmet. I gotta look at the stats on these. Maybe some, they have special abilities. You could buy Radon's spear. It's great arrows. Radon's gauntlets. Radon's greaves. Helm of the Golden Lion with flowing red hair worn by General Radon. Radon inherited the furious flaming red hair of his father, Radagon. So Radagon is the father of Radon. And it's fond of its heroic implications. I was born a champion's cub. Now I am the lord of the battlefield lion. battlefield's lion. <clears throat> Here's his armor. So it's a golden lion being depicted. The golden lion is said to symbolize Godfrey, the first Elden Lord 
whose shriveled face we found in the basement of uh, Stormvale Castle, and his beast regent, Saroche. I wonder if we'll find Saroche. From his youngest years, Radon was naturally captivated by the Lord of the Battlefield. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Uh... How much do these cost? Way too much. I can't afford all of this. I could buy his helmet and his armor set. I don't know if I want to. By the way, it doesn't tell you... I guess it doesn't give you anything. I, it doesn't say. You know what? Since I don't want to waste my fucking souls... Now I won't waste them. There you go. I'll check out the armor set. What do I get from his remembrance? Two options. Either the Star Surge Greatsword... Or the Lion Great Bow, and I actually have the stats to use the Great Bow. Um, I guess I would have to up my intelligence to use the Star Sturge Great Sword. A curved Great Sword of black steel wielded by General Radon. A pair of weapons decorated with a lion mane motif. So it's a pair. <clears throat> it's a pair of swords. Radon earned considerable renown as the Star Scourge. In his youth, it is said that it was during this time he engraved the Gravity Crest upon the Blades. Unique skill is the Star Caller Cry. Bring the two swords together and roar into the skies, pulling in enemies with a gravitational wave. Follow up with an additional input to slam down with the gravity infused swords. Interesting. Or, Radon's Reign is the special ability of this crazy lion great bow. This is as you go from a low stance, ready the bow and fire a sudden flurry of arrows into the sky, the arrows pour on foes like rain. It's imbued with the gravitational power of Star Scourge. Huh. These are things I could eventually use. If I put a few levels into intelligence, I could use this thing. But I wonder how good it is, right? Well, thing is, I shouldn't do this yet. I should I should duplicate his soul at one of the co mausoleums. I don't know which one it is, because remember, we've knocked down a significant amount of them. Um, but, you know, you should... If I'm going to try this... I should definitely go to a mausoleum first. By the way, I just noticed it has big magic damage. See that? Magic buff on it? Hmm. Okay. I want. I might want to use those swords if they're cool. Um, the problem is I do want to duplicate first, and I will have to put levels into intelligence to use it. I wonder, do you guys know which walking mausoleum is the one that duplicates his soul? Because I knocked down two of them over here. Yeah, it was around... Yeah, Mausoleum Compound. I knocked down two of them. Could it be this one? Martin says you'll have to choose faith or intelligence. You can't do both or you can respec later. But I'm only I'm only six levels away from having the intelligence needed to use the sword, and the sword actually specs more off of strength than intelligence, so. Well that makes me sad. That's not the right one. Oh, Danger Coast says it needs to be in the area the boss is in to duplicate? How? Hold on. First of all... Uh... Poise would increase, and a lot of stats would increase, but it puts me on heavy load to use the fucking thing. I'm gonna guess the same shit with his armor. His armor is very heavy. Yes. Mine, the stats go way up. My stats right now are quite low. And this makes the stats go way the fuck up. My poise goes way up, but the, the weight is tremendous. Tremendous weight. You know, this, this is a good hat, right? Because doesn't this give me a uh, stamina buff? But maybe I should try to put the armor on. What's the lightest one? 1.4 Traveler Gloves. And then what's the lightest pants? 
cloth trousers. I'm still heavy load, even with all of that. I could get away with the twinned armor, but I can't get away. The armor is so heavy. I could, <laughs> I could put the octopus head back on if I want. <laughs> that would be delightful, no? <clears throat> <clears throat> Now that's fashion souls right there. Look at that. Can I get away with better pants? I can. But not many. All these are heavy. These are the best ones. The traveler slops. Wow. Wow. I guess we're going with this for a while. I mean, the armor is badass. But, uh... That face... <clears throat> anyway. Uh... Let's see here. <laughs> Take off the gloves completely. No, it's still, I can't do it, man. Let's, here, take off the pants. If I have no pants and no gloves on, I can put on... Oh, no. <laughs> oh. Huh. <laughs> we have a little bit of exposure down below, but, you know, I can wear the rest. Oh my god. Oh no. <laughs> oh, you want to fight me? You're going to get a little view. <laughs> oh no. I can't I can't even put on pants. It every pant puts me on heavy load. Every pant I can't put on any pants or gloves. My poison is at 37, which is actually pretty good. Oh no. Uh, I know I have a talisman for equipment load, but I don't want to use it because I'm already doing a talisman for strength, a talisman for faith, and a talisman that does like everything. Crazy. So I don't have. If I had a fourth talisman slot, then yeah, I could do it, but I don't. I made a preserving bolus. Oh my god. Anyway. I, uh, man. Okay. Uh, where do we want to go? I guess let's go back to here because then we could go north to the ruins where I died and investigate there. We can get west and see if I can get to this tunnel. We can head southwest where people apparently have been telling me there actually is a, 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 a boss or something over here. An optional boss that I missed. Once we're done with all that, we can actually go back to the tower and uh, and try to figure if I can clear that, clear beat the boss or whatever. There you go. Battle Duck Nine Thousand says, "Well, if you want some easier access, just put your finger in the butthole." <laughs> finger in butthole. Yes. Yes. The ruins are to the north. I was investigating them when I got fucked up. I never talked to this woman, did I? The, two, the finger woman? She's gonna be like, what the fuck is going on with your your crotch? No. Please. I can read them. Your fingers. Please, your fingers. Show your hands. Oh, bless you. Oh, are you uh, for festivals? I already did the festival. Or flowers. I don't know what she means by the flowers. To the south, I already to did the this. East, a oh. Garden, but of a flower to be. I don't know what that's a reference to. Is she talking about... I think she's talking about this, which I already did. I already went to the heart of the Scarlet Rot and fought that, and I already went and did... So basically everything she just told me I already did. So 
That was a waste. Okay. Back to where, where I died. If you remember, it's all those stupid tank things. There was a tank standing behind another tank, and it killed me because I didn't realize there were two there. multiple tanks in this area and that's the problem they're all like stacked against each other here oh wait there was a save point here i didn't even know all right hold on i unlocked a new save point okay i am the pantsless tarnished destined to fight with no pantaloons i lost my pants <laughs> Uh, there's gotta be a something here, right? There's gotta be like a dungeon hidden or something. Maybe there's an illusory thing. Another shitty smoldering butterfly. There's another tank. Maybe the tank's blocking it? There it is. Oh, there's a boss. All right, let's do this quick before I go on break. Let's fight another boss before I go on break with no pants. Oh, wait. Two? Interesting. Wow. Old. <laughs> I'm done. I got killed. I can definitely beat him. One more time, and I'll go on break. I know I can beat them. I just uh, I basically got to be be safe, and not. I was trying to like like tank them out, which did not work. I don't want to fight these stupid tanks. I just want to go right to the... Right to the boss. Where the fuck is it now? hits on that guy and he's dead but I got interrupted. Shit. One more time. One more attempt. How long are my breaks usually ask Todd? About 20 minutes roughly. Usually uh, between 15 and 25. It really depends on what I'm doing but I already took a break earlier to use the restroom so it shouldn't be a big deal. I should have a shorter break. Is it now? I gotta mark it or something on the map because it's fucking annoying to not be able to find the staircase. There it is. There. Oh, I can't mark it on the map because there's an enemy. God damn it.
Why is he attacking? Holy shit. Bye! That means you die! <laughs> I beat them with no pants. Okay. What's my great reward? The pantsless Dumas. Real life pantsless Dumas. Visage shield. Ew. <laughs> uh. Trixum bronze shield depicting the face of a fire giant. So apparently those tanks are actually supposed to look like fire giant heads. Several tongues leap from its open mouth. The dreadful visage and burning flames are designed to remind one of the horror of facing a fire giant. In other words, the shield has instructional function. Unique skill, tongues of fire. Ready the shield and spray violent jets of fire from the tongues protruding from its maw. Hold to continue spraying fire. The skill can be used while walking. And overloaded. If I equip it, there's actually a status in this game called overloaded. I wonder if you just can't move at all. Huh. All right, well. Cleared that sucker out. So I guess we're done there. Let's head back to the save point. We'll save up, take my break, and then we'll continue to investigate. I want to see how you get to that cave to the west that apparently has the crafting items in it. Uh, I think that'd be pretty important at this point uh, to get more, to keep leveling my weapons and stuff. So, all right, cool. 